this is Minnesota and you have every right to be here and anybody who can't accept your right to be here and that this is Minnesota should find another state. It really should go somewhere else. And the new Americans that are establishing their new lives in central Minnesota, they have pressure from the system. And we would like you to uh, revisit or create programs that will uh, give us a fair platform to reestablish ourselves in this area. But mainly it's got to be an ethic from all of you, from everybody in St. Cloud who says, this is St. Cloud. Everybody who's here has a right to be here as much as anybody else. And if you can't accept that, then find another state. We do have an organizing effort that is taking place now across the nation against Muslims. And that is happening here again and it's restarting. This is where it needs to happen. You need to be the leaders, not only for your own community here, your own city, but also setting the example for others in Minnesota who are, are coming to terms with this fact that this, this is Minnesota. It's not the Minnesota they experienced growing up. It's the Minnesota, it's the Minnesota where they're gonna live the rest of their lives, where their children and their grandchildren are gonna live. And then we're gonna live together in, in harmony. Are we gonna work together? Are we gonna recognize that all this uh, immigration is about expanding, as I said before, our citizenry, our workforce. That's about economic progress. Everybody's uh, retirement income, everybody's uh, transportation funding, everybody's uh, education system depends upon these uh, the newcomers to Minnesota being assimilated and becoming productive citizens with good jobs and good incomes and becoming accepted in our communities. We need to get the money from the federal government that, that built that line. We need to get the money to expand it. We, we can get a part of it from the state, about 20%, but we can't expand it without the federal government. Whoever uh, built that line and had to stop 11 miles uh, short of St. Cloud should be uh, the Idiot of the Year Award. <laughs> uh, the Chiba Gap in Minnesota is, is a disgrace and uh, unacceptable. Uh, part of it is because we have an influx of uh, people from other state, uh, states as well as other countries coming into Minnesota who classify as minority who don't have the same education background that uh, those who grew up in the Minnesota education system do. So that's one, one of the factors. But your point about not having enough educators uh, with minority backgrounds is absolutely right. There's 1% of the teachers in Minnesota in the public school system are African American. I mean, that's just totally unacceptable. And we're going to come back to the legislature next session with a proposal to uh, revise the, 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 met, the way in which we uh, recruit people and, and train people and provide people with the chance to become teachers because we, we can't have a situation where our, our teachers are so mismatched, mismatched demographically from the student bodies.